I'll be cleaning this wall, the, these walleyes. Uh, these walleyes have been pre-killed. I've put the knife through the brain so you don't have to worry about seeing them move and everything. And this is how I do it. Might not be the perfect way, but this is how I save a lot of meat. I like using those knives. If you do a lot of fish and you guide, I suggest electric knife. It's much better, much quicker. Your blade doesn't get as dull quicker. So I'm using a, a fillet knife that's about seven and a half inch long. Uh, it's got some flexibility to it. So I'm gonna put my head cam and you guys will see with me how I'm filleting those walleye, trying to save as much meat as possible. So we got a walleye here. And again, it's not a big walleye. Uh, what we call a good eater. They taste better, they're, they're, they're young. They're not full of mercury. We, le we let the bigger ones go so they can spawn and uh, have, the have the better genetics so we can keep catching some walleyes like this. So what I like to do, first there's meat, there's meat in the cheeks right here, around the eye. A lot of people will cut up the cheeks and uh, eat the meats here. There's a lot of meat in this cheek. You can feel it with your finger, it's soft. What I like to do is I don't gut them. Um, I do an incision right behind the gill plate, right here. So I'm gonna do my incision, I'm right here, all the way to about the middle. And there's two ways you can go about this. Um, if you wanna save a lot of meat, you can take the point of your knife and clean around the dorsal fin all the way to the back. That'll save you a lot of meat. So this is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do both sides. Hopefully you guys can see. So I'm, I'm just following the bones. The door, the, 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 the bones right here. And I'll take my knife once I'm about halfway through with the back fin and I'll just clean the ribs with my knife just to help it detached so I can save all that meat that's right attached to the, to the ribs here. So, go like this. And I'm not, I'm not trying to do it quick for you guys right now. I'm, I'm trying to take my time to show you. So, I've cleaned it pretty good. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my knife, I'm gonna insert it where I did my incision here. I'm gonna hold I like holding with my finger and put pressure on the head right now. And this where you got to break a lot of bones. But once you pass the first few ones, and with my knife, it's just following the backbone here. It's just following. I'm not putting pressure. I don't want to cut too much through it. But I'm following. I'm letting the knife do the work. I'm sliding back and forth. And this is where... I stop about right here. As soon as I enter the fork of the tail, um, I'm gonna flip my fillet here. I'm flipping my fillet. I don't like the skin, and I don't. I don't want to take the, the the scales off. So I leave my skin here. I'm gonna go under the meat. I'm gonna hold it with my finger. I'm gonna let the knife do the work. This is why it's important. You need a sharp, a good knife. All the way back here. So now I have my fillet. There's nothing left in here right in the skin. Now I can take my knife, the sharp point of my knife and cut the rib cage out and, and, and get rid of the, of the rib cage and the, and the bones here. And I'm no expert. This is how I cook, this is how I get mine ready. Um, slicing under, flexible knife helps you. There's barely any meat left in here. All the bones I can feel. This goes in my garbage. Now that fillet is ready to cook. There'll be no bones or anything in here. All I do, all I gotta do is clean it. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Insert the knife behind the, the fin, behind the gill plate as close as I can because there's a lot of meat here. There we go. Cut right through. I've already pre-cut on the other side. Now I gotta do this side, right? I'm following the bone. I don't wanna go through the bone. That's this where 
this is where you get issues if you go through the bone so I'm just following the bone and this method right here as I'm showing you is saving you the maximum meat nothing goes to waste especially if you're gonna eat the cheeks now again I left my my skin a little bit of skin attached to the tail I'm gonna take my my the tip of my knife I'm gonna go under I'm gonna let the knife do the work the knife is guiding itself then again it takes a lot of time you know and and uh, confidence doing this but you gotta you gotta do something to know better to practice yourself and see I went a little bit over here so I'm gonna correct myself right here and you can see there's barely any meat left here barely any meat here so there's nothing really going to waste so here's another walleye here's how I'm gonna do it quick knife under the fin behind the gill plate I'm crushing down I'm cutting him I'm following the bone I'm following the bone boom look at the meat on this walleye it's almost like blue Take my take my rib cage bone. This is what takes the most of time. Like if you don't wanna. Is that rib cage? I find anyway. Here's another fillet. Boom. You know, I felt I, I followed the, the backbone. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to let the knife follow the bone. I don't want to cut through it. I want to cut through the, the ribs, but not the backbone. And a little trick here. See how there's barely any meat left here. This is all bones. You don't want this. When I'm, when I'm cutting it, I'm coming here on an angle because I want to pick up as much meat as possible close to that back fin on an angle. I did that both ways. So if, when I go like this, I'm going like this because there's not really any meat on the belly. It's going to come out anyway. All right, so you understand how I'm seeing it here? Um, so this is the way I like to do it. So I've shown you two ways. Ta-da! So, you know, really skinny walleye, not much meat. We take the rib cage. Here's another fillet done. You know, might as well do them all. So I take my knife. Behind the gill plate, I go down, I cut all the way, behind boat fins, boom, done. I'm going to take my knife, I'm pressing on the head, and I'm going to turn my knife while I'm pressing on the head towards the backbone. The backbone, and see I'm on an angle here. I'm on an angle because I want to clean as much as possible of the top back of the fish. There's not meat, there's no meat here I'm going to eat. The meat is starting here where the scales are starting so I'm just cutting through those bones slowly this is where you get if you have an electrical knife even better so I stop just at the back end just to leave me some skin here so I can do this here I'm letting the knife work going back and forth beautiful fillet ready to be cooked. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got a really good knife, good quality steel and wood, you want to clean it, 
you know, with soap, oh, with soap like this here. And clean it. And you won't let it dry off here. Don't put it back in this, don't put it back in this, into the holster. Because this will entrap humidity and your brass will fade a little bit. Uh, these knives are really cool, really badass. They're a work of art. If you're interested into those knives, holler at your boy, send a comment. I got a bunch of those knives, that's why I got some here. I give, I give some corporate gifts and stuff like this. So.